Hey guys and welcome to my quick and easy guide. Before we start, I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, I watched Curtis 1928's original guide in order to learn how to run through the maze optimally without AD thieving. So if you want to watch his guide, I have a link below in the description. Now let's get started. So what you're going to need in order to effectively do the Rogue's Den is some potions and a game's necklace. Uh, teleport to Birth Rope and go to this bar and down the trap door. All of this should cost you 100k or less depending on how many potions you buy. I took 30, I probably won't need it all but it's nice not to run out in the middle of the grind. What you have to do is talk to Brian if you haven't unlocked the minigame yet and uh, yeah, you, what you want to do is have those three set up easily so you can just get your potions as quick as possible from the bank and you're ready to go. All right, now that you got your potions, you've talked to the dude and you're basically ready to go, there's three plugins that you need to make sure are active and I'll tell you why. The first one is Rogue Stand. It just shows you where the traps are. The second would be screen markers. This is super useful and, and you need to have this in order to use my guide effectively. So we're gonna enable that. What that allows you to do is when you press left shift on your keyboard and right click a tile, you can now mark it. To unmark it, just right click with your shift down and you can click on it again and it's gone. And the third one would be tile indicators. You can go in here, make sure this one is marked and you can choose your color if you like. And what this does is just shows you where you're stepping. I use this all the time. I have all these three activated whenever I play and they're super useful for other things too. You know, making sure you don't step in the wrong thing while doing quests or some other skilling or repetitive task. It's super useful. Now let's get into the actual guide. When you're at the door, drink your stamina potion. If you have vial smashing, it's easy, but you can also drop them. And when you open and start the maze, you're gonna wanna go left. Upon going left, just go through that. Neither of these can harm you. Here's the first tile that you're gonna to wanna to mark. When you've marked it, walk on it, and then walk straight, and you can just avoid all the traps. Go through the door. And then I've marked these three spots here. Click on the first one, the second one, the third one, and then you're free to go. You can click wherever. When you're done with that, Go to the right side and climb the ledge. So here I just want to explain to you quickly something about this maze. Mostly it's harmless, but there's a few points where if you're not paying attention to what you're doing or where you're clicking, you're easily gonna fuck up and really get frustrated with this. So the reason why we're using these mark tiles is just to make this as easy as possible without paying too much attention. These saws are kind of tricky. So what you're gonna to want to do is click on the edge there and it'll walk over it just fine. If you click on in front of it, it might start making you walk around or something. And uh, again, we want to just always do this flawlessly. So you're going to click there, go through these pendulums and pass this ledge. And you're going to mark, mark this tile and walk there. I'm going to explain to you, basically, you can run past three traps, as long as you're on the square before it with us having four traps, we're gonna have to search the floor here. And now there's three, so you can just run past just fine. Go to the left, there's a passageway, into the passageway. Uh, here again, click on the edge of the square and you'll be fine. Keep running forward, there's another passageway. When you're here, just click on the minimap over here on this little alleyway. So run past these traps just fine, no problem. Enter the passageway. Open the door, and then you want to mark this tile again. Click on the marked tile. When you're there, click on the ledge. It'll climb over it just fine. Again, now we're going to get to a point with four traps, so we're going to have to search a trap. So I've got a tile marked here. Make sure to mark it once you're off the ledge, otherwise it might mess up. You don't want to mark tiles when you're in movement. Click here, search the wall, and now that we've searched the wall, we can create a marked tile there. So you can just click on it. No problem. To get past these without issue, mark that tile, run on it, and it'll just automatically run past. Then we're gonna go here, 
you're going to want to mark this tile with a tile that already has a tile on it in order to create tile exception. Pick up the tile, click on the door, click OK on this tile, and bada bing bada boom, you got through it. Now we're going to go through a maze. I put up markers just to make it easy to remember. So mark these tiles and go through this doorway in the same pattern. Mark that one, open that door. Mark this one, open that door. Mark that one, open the door. Mark that one, open the door. Mark this one, open the door. Mark that one, open the door. And mark this one over the door. It's easy enough to remember by yourself, but this way, if you're coming back the next day, you don't have to remember shit. You don't have to pay attention. You can watch your Netflix or whatever else you're doing and kind of make it makes this a lot more AFK. And the reason why I came up with this marking thing is I fucked this one up twice, not paying attention. So you're going to want to run here. And now that we're on the square before the three taps, you can just run past fine. But if you ran past it earlier, you get you trigger the trap. Over here, you're already here, so nothing to mark. The door, make sure to mark this tile and move that one tile. That way you're not gonna trigger those traps either. Run through the pendulum. Here I like to use as much zoom out as possible. I've already marked this square, mark that. And here again, you're just gonna wanna mark the one in the middle, click it, boom, you'll be fine. We're just cutting out human error as much as possible. Same thing here, run next to the trap, mark that tile. Mark that tile, run there, and there we go. You're not going to mess it up once you've done this one. So it takes a little effort, but it's pretty easy. And once you've done it, you can just grind this like a mindless robot uh, because this mini game is terrible, but you do want that rogue then outfit. Now that you've picked up the flash powder, click on the flash powder, click on this dude. When your guy starts making the animation, just click forward on the mini map and you'll be good to go. And then we got the final two pendulums here. At this point, you can't really fuck yourself up anymore. And now you can collect your reward. Uh, I'm not a completely superstitious guy, but I tried using these two cracks and that one. Um, and whenever I cracked the wall safe, I would trigger a trap. But when I've been using this one, I haven't triggered it once and I've already gotten four pieces of the set. So let's crack it one more time and see if the magic works. And of course it doesn't this time. And I look like a fool. And that's it. Now you'd either get nothing, a gem, a rogue kit that lets you get like a knife or something, or a rogue crate where you can pick your kit, which is nice now that you can't get duplicates. Uh, you're gonna wanna keep repeating the same process, take the super energy, take the stamina, do it all over again until you have all five pieces. I've got the gloves left and then I'm done with this shit. It's taken me maybe an hour and a half so far and uh, lower the elbow, the longer it should take. I have 69 agility, 62 thieving. Um, anything below that, expect it to take a bit longer. Anything above that, maybe you'll get lucky. It's all RNG at the end of the day. If you have 80 thieving, there's apparently a shortcut. I don't know what it is, so I can't help you with that one. But this was my quick guide. I hope they helped, and uh, good luck. Catch you later.